G'day guys and uh, welcome to the beautiful Emerald Lakes. I'm actually going to be doing a couple of videos today. One of them I'm going to be doing a course vlog, which is my first ever course vlog uh, at Emerald Lakes. And uh, I know I've done some whole vlogs and things like that. This is going to be a course vlog, but I'm also going to do a second video, uh, which you can look out for reviewing the AD333 Strixon ball. Um, now I actually used this in comp last week and I was so surprised that I wanted to review the ball. But I'm going to do it today and I'm going to play the holes a little differently just so I can get the versatility. I'll probably only do three holes reviewing the ball just so you guys get an idea and then I'll have my comments at the end. Um, but yeah, so come along with us and, and watch those two videos. They'll be two separate videos, but uh, it's a beautiful day here. It's a bit windy, so that's going to challenge a little bit too, but uh, looking forward to it. So let's get on the tee. I think it's going to be a three iron off the tee on the first hole. I normally hit driver, but wind's behind us and I just need to clear the bunkers. So. Uh, plus, I haven't warmed up, so that's always a good start. Start with an iron. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Let's go take a look, hey? Well, I know I said that I hadn't warmed up, and that showed. That was a very bad tee shot off to the right. I'm going to be in the woods, so hopefully I got a clear shot. I didn't... Thankfully, I don't think I hit it too far because I hit it so bad. Uh, but that does go to show that a warm-up really helps. I mean, I'm, I'm laid out on the course today doing, you know, I wanted to be here much earlier than this um, just to make sure that I get that warm-up in. But you don't always have the luxury. So, yeah, we just got to take it sometimes as it comes. Um, and I went in here somewhere. And, yeah, there I am. I'll just wait for these guys to hit and then I'll show you. I believe I'm coming up to what is my ball just there yep that's mine and the hole is through those trees so I thought I got through I hit a tree and not the worst this time, but still a little bit to do. The pins at the back. It's my third shot. Just a reminder, this is on the par four, hence why you don't want to be where I was off the tee. Let's try and level that. So I'm up there, still not actually on the green, but I'm putting, I believe. Um, this hasn't been a very good start to my first course vlog, has it? I mean, this is gonna be my fourth shot, and uh, if I can putt this, that'd be brilliant. So, you know, that'll be a good pass save, although I've got a long way to go on the putt, but let's just check it out anyway. So here's my putt. This is gonna be a tricky one, because I've gotta go up over this coochie little grass and then down to that down slope. Let's take a look at it and see if we can get it in. That was terrible. Put you over here. So all in all, I played the hole quite badly and I ended up with a bogey. So, you know, that's actually, it could have been a lot worse than that from that tee shot. You know, don't get down on yourself if you have a bogey, especially on the first hole. Um, without a warm up, you've got to give yourself a little bit of leverage there and, and just a bit of room. Um, but here's the second hole and this is one of my favorite holes on the course. So I'm excited to play this one. Hole number two, this is a par five. Straight down there, what we're trying to do is we're trying to go down where those guys are and up over those bunkers. And then that puts us in the fairway, somewhere between, depending on the wind, 150 and 180 out. Um, but yeah, we want to get sort of up over those bunkers is, is the, uh, the play here. All right, 
right, so that's down the left side a little bit, just left of those bunkers. Didn't quite go over the front of them, but that's okay. Down the left side is actually not a bad spot to be in because uh, you can still reach the green in two and it makes the hole a bit shorter too. So uh, definitely not unhappy with that. Struck it well, hit it well, uh, it flew well. So down we are. We're gonna be a little bit in the rough, I think, and, and just a bit left there. Looks like about 180-ish out. Um, yeah, we may have to go under some trees just by the look of it. So it might not be a reachable green in two today, but um, those tees are back a bit further. Oh, actually it might be. We'll see what happens when we get up there. Alrighty guys, so there's my ball. As you can see, it's not in a, not in a bad spot. Um, and there's the gap there that I'll be hitting through. That's that window. And if we look all the way down there, just behind these fellas still, there's a the breeze. So. It's saying that to the back where 199, which is where that pin's located. Um, now 199 for me is normally a, a five iron from there, but that wind is basically straight in our face. So I have absolutely nailed that four iron from 199 out to the back. Um, and I think, I mean, either on the green or just, just on the back of the green, it definitely hit the green on the full. Um, but yeah, very happy with that shot. Definitely lucky I didn't go a three iron because that would have gone way over the back. And I uh, hit to the safe part of the green, which is just right of the bunker. And now I've got a putt that's gonna be um, a little bit uphill first and then downhill. But very happy with that. Now I've got an eagle putt to go, so hopefully you guys can see me get an eagle. Let's hold it. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of a putt across that grass again, which is sometimes inconsistent, but I'd rather be putting for eagle than trying to chip for eagle. And uh, I just got to get through that. It's going to go across that hill and then go left to right, and then maybe even come back a little. Might be a double breaker, but put you behind the pin and let's see. Alrighty, so nice easy green regulation and then a one putt. Basically that's what goes down in the stats, the way the PGA work it, even though it's only just off the green. Green regulation on a par five is three shots and then one putt for birdie. So it's also a good reason, even to myself, not to get discouraged after a bogey on the first hole because you got a par five on hole two. So it was easy to get that one back and uh, now we're back to square. Now to this glorious par three. You'll see that the pin is up the back again, tucked away in that back corner behind the bunker. And uh, we're hitting from back there. So it's 174 to the back. The wind's gonna be behind us. That for me is gonna be a full seven iron. And uh, this is a gorgeous hole. Caught that one a little thin. Uh, still hit it well, still hit it pretty much in the direction where I wanted to hit it, but just caught it thin, so didn't really give any chance or time for the ball to drift with that wind, and I've, I've gone uh, through the green and into the back bunkers, so that's all right. Gives us time to check out the bunker skills, and uh, let's get up and down for part.
not the best, but not too bad. Alrighty, so bad part there. Uh, that was a disappointing fall. But as I said, it's not one of my greatest holes on this course, actually, to be honest. I mean, I think if I par the par threes on this course, I'm having a crack around, but yeah, it's it's not my favorite hole, um, which is strange, because really it's just a seven iron in and a putt, but anyway. Everyone has their little qualms, that's one of mine here. Um, next one is one of my favorite holes there. That's a fourth, it's another long par five. Uh, you can nail it down the middle and you can easily be on in two, so let's do that. shot over there and uh, I am here and those guys have been told to move because they pushed in and we're going to be hitting there. So here he goes. Shotting. And I think that's greenish. So, I hit it in the bumper again, and uh, now we're going to be played out of the sand, right? So I'm walking up to my ball now in the sand, and uh, there we are, softish lie. So, what I'll do is there's the hole. Not a bad shot, a couple of feet from the pin, button for birdie. Maybe he's putting for 32. Get in. Oh. So now we have a par three, which is going to be about 120 into the wind to a front pin. We can see that down there somewhere. And Toby's going to go first, aren't you, Toby? All right. All right, we'll see. So that was two cracking tee shots on this par three. I think we're both within a few feet of the pin. And uh, nice little 120 meter pitch and wedge. I saw it, you know, um, saw it hit the ground. It even checked up a bit, which is surprising on these balls. You know, they're a cheaper ball and I don't expect them to check that much, but it did. It hit it and it stopped straight away. I didn't exactly hit it high either. So it's, I'm super impressed with these balls. Hey, they're great, great balls. Anyway. Take a look when we get there. there you go. So here they are. Both great shots. And is that yours there? That's yours. It's mine. You're even going to give me a read. Three birdies and two bogeys so far. Pretty happy with that as a start. So, 
Yeah, not the tee shot I wanted on this. Oh, that was a bad tee shot. Um, yeah. Hit a provisional just in case, actually, because I know it opens up around the left here, so we should be fine. But um, the provisional wasn't great either, but at least it's in play, definitely. And I think my first ball's in play. Let's go check it out. First ball. Just in play. There's a the fence. So the idea of this is just to get it back in play so we can make par. So let's sit this somewhere here. Eight iron. The idea is just to go left of that sandbox and just around that fairway side there. That's perfect. So I'm back in the fairway, there's 170 to the pin. A heavy, stiff breeze in front of our face, so I'm thinking of maybe a five iron in there to try and get over that breeze to try and get on the on the dance floor. So that was not a good shot. That went right and into the drink. This is the hardest hole on the course by a mile. And uh, it's not stroke index one, which baffles me. I have no idea how it's not, but it is. This can be a game ruiner. But anyway, it's not gonna be that today. We're gonna drop the ball and uh, let's play for six. Yep. This hole is not boating well for me. We need to have a good putt here to get a two putt, and that makes it a seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, seven. So if we get a six from this part, that'll be amazing. So that was the seven that took me from one under to one over. And uh, lucky that second putt was good, otherwise that was looking like it was gonna be an eight. Anyway, glad we got that hole out of the way. So uh, we're onto another beautiful hole now. I'll flick it across and I'll show you. Long par four at 370 odd meters, 380 meters. Straight down there is where we wanna go. There's a pin at the back. We need to sort out these tee shots. That one went down and left. Should be okay. Should be a, uh, might even have a shot actually to the green, but we need to sort those out. We're nailing it with a driver earlier. It's about confidence with that for me. If I'm playing confidently with a driver and I strike it well, then I always score well. So that's all right. Just recalibrate and get back on it. Ah, so here's my spot. It's my ball. Green's around there. We need to do a shimmy shimmy. See if we can get a winny winny. Round the corner draw. Looks like we got some more people joining us. I think Josh gonna jump in. I love golf, you know, it's just, a lot of people just come and have fun and enjoy the day, so. Yeah, here's my ball. It's gonna be a 60 degree wedge up into that back. Actually, it might be a sand wedge, we'll see. Lovely, happy with that. Yeah. Anything for the gram, eh? 
Bogey. Yeah, two over. Two over, so two over, and that was a bogey. Should have been a par. Simple little hole, eh? But it's like. Oh man! Another bogey on a par three. I don't know what the score is now, actually, but I know that we need a couple of birdies. So let's go. that drive it's going to be right up near the green but it did roll around I hit the fairway smack bang just left of the uh, sand bunker which is going to be perfect and I think it's rolled around to um, just on the edge of the left so I hoping mean, there's not going to be too much trouble getting it up from there but it went dead straight down the middle and then must have hit an unfortunate bounce just off drive I am there <laughs> that's not actually that bad. Not that bad. That's bad. All right, so I'm gonna putt this. Pretty true. 